Come on, rain for mama. Oh, guys, it woke me up out of my sleep. I heard some raining. Ah, oh, don't make me mad. Oh, this is like Christmas, guys. Oh. It may not rain long, but we're getting a little bit. Good morning. Hey, guys, I mean, you know what? I remember you did something. I think it was about 15 years old. It was a little Ray Charles thing. Can, can you do that with me? Yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> I got a woman way over time that's good to me. Oh, yeah. Said I got a woman way over time that's good to me. Oh, yeah. She gave me money. She gave me money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, you silly. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So do you, do you really, you know, you, you really like music, huh? Yes. And, um. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. I am so happy those fireworks has stopped. Who don't like firecrackers? It's me. Long story. I'm not going to get into it right now. But I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to um, go do some errands and go visit my baby boy. Uh, for those that don't know, he is visually impaired. Mr. Independent. Mr. Ray Wonder. Uh, yeah, so I'm a little pooped out. So I'm not going to... My goal is not to do gardening work today. I'm going to try and make that happen. But we'll see as the day go on. So stay tuned. Maybe I can get him on camera. <laughs> oh, guys. When I tell you people just won't wear their masks, it is ridiculous. They will not social distance, even at the gas pump. It's not going to take you number five minutes max at the gas pump or at the window total. Why you just can't wear your mask? That's why people like me be paranoid. And I don't go nowhere. Because people do not like to do what it takes to stay safe for them and for you. Oh, come on, Cars, let me out. But anyway, I guess I'll be rambling today. So, guys, I'm getting these beady beats taken care of while he want to be screenshotting me and stuff. Mama duties. Help me, Lord. Get these bitty beats on. All right, guys. I'm going in. I'm going in on that beard and mustache. Let's see what I do. <laughs> Fold them up. All right, guys. Hey, you can't go wrong when you're agging somebody. But... I hope I did okay on the beard for the fellas. It ain't perfect, but I didn't want to cut him. I think I'm going to touch it right here on this side. These two little spots. We'll see. All right, guys. That's the best I can do for right now. Trust me, it grow back fast. Ray, how you feel? <laughs> Why are you making that face? All right, go get cleaned up. So guys, sometimes I have to pull away from a project. That's why I try to get as many done as I can. Because I still have to come and check out my little son. Woo. Now, on to the next one.
Look at this turkey. He just didn't even dry off. He just put his clothes on. Let me see, Dominique. How you feel? Fresh and clean? Yeah, this is my son, Mr. Rewanda. Check that on tube. Yep, yep, yep. This is the musical genius. We're going to spend a little time with him today. Let's see what he can show y'all what he do. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. This is his little contraption, his little setup. So, y'all. So, everything yeah, talks to him. Yeah. And he's going to show us something. I'm going to give him a chance to pull some things up. And then we'll go. Uh, what you going to pull up for us? So, I'm going to work on that. Uh, this. <laughs> that was an original one, but right now, let me do a little cover for you guys of Sam Cooke, A Change Don't Come. I do not own the copyright of this music. This is just me presenting it to you guys. And so, just for Hope notation. you like it. I was born by the river in a little town. Oh, just like the river I've been running ever since it's been a long a long time coming but i know a change gonna come oh yes it will so mr ray wanda my son how long have you been visually impaired my whole life what happened I was born died, died preemie. I was uh, retinopathy prematurely. So okay, well, what, how old are you now? Twenty-seven. I just made twenty-seven in April. Okay, so how do you maneuver around? How do you? Um, I see you was working on a laptop. So can you show everybody what you do and, and talk and talk to Three. them? Yeah, this is a um, for those that don't know i guess this is a mac obviously by apple i use voiceover which is their built-in speech program for visually impaired and blind users uh, on the window microsoft side they've got a couple of other other things you can use but this is the one that i use for apple and i use it for different things like logic which is my music program which i'm loading up, I'm loading up right now Logic Pro X image. I hear it talking. So, what's that all Logic about? Pro X needs attention. It's just loading the pro. It's right now just telling me that it's loading the music program right now that I used to make beats with. So, and, and also my wait a minute. Blank. You make beats? Scanning audio minutes. Finalize one of two. Yeah. Logic Pro X has. Wow. So who taught you how to make beats? I had to do it on my own. Just taught myself. Oh. Okay. Wow. That is amazing been doing shows since I was young. Shows? Uh, shouts out to Wicked Cricket, man. I miss him, man. You know, I know he's looking down on us. You know, if you guys are on YouTube and on our page, you can also see interviews with him. There's lots of things out there that we've done, shows we've done with Wicked Cricket and DJ Chill and others out there. So, so how long have you been doing shows? Okay. I've been doing it, doing shows. I've been doing shows since I was about 10 years old. Okay. And then slowly after that started doing at my own recordings around 12 and 13. So what can people find your music? Soundcloud.com slash Ray Wonder. On iTunes, you can type in Ray Wonder and you can pull up the stuff that I have produced or am doing myself. Some of the songs that a lot of the songs that you, the song that you heard earlier will be also on iTunes pretty soon. So look out for that. And also I'm going to be working on a Christmas album that you guys are better to enjoy too. So y'all be looking out for that too. Okay. Like work, work on one, one, one. I was doing oh, one. Mr. Ray Wonder. Don't, don't he look good, y'all? <laughs> Didn't his mama Five. do a good job? Mm -hmm. Open your chest. Open. Ray Wonder, you feel fresh? Hairs. Uh, <laughs> okay, Ray Wonder's gonna show you how um, he communicates with his keyboard. Yep. Ray, show him a little something, Ray. It, it tracks. Right now, what I have. 
Nick tail icon out Nick sun loop. Okay, right now I have uh, 16 bar. Uh, oh yeah. Metronome on eight. Ah, actually 18 bar. Sound a little because it's not in the way. Nice. Three beats, two divisions. So you know how to do moving sounds and all that stuff. Logic. Oh, key key preferences about logic. Yeah. Logic probably. The log sound I have library. To, I have to check. Actually, move my sound library. Move my settings. Change my settings around because it's not sound, in the right sound, place. Sound library. So you guys can hear what I'm doing. Download all the file. So Apple. Apple. Uh, logic. Uh, uh, controls. So preferences. you actually do music Audio production. Business. Yes, I do. Audio. Wow. Output device. USB. So original Magnum tracks, no copycats. No nope. output. Nope. All you. USB. If somebody really wants something to be custom or remade a certain way, then I'll do that too. But most of my stuff is original. Most of my tracks Logic, are correct. completely original. Do you do any featuring on people albums on ad libs and all that stuff? Yes, I do. Close. I, lately, I've been doing work with people that need features on their albums, meaning. I do background vocals for people if, if need be, or producing and gen engineering in general, so. Okay. Haters, to play that. All right, y'all, so this, right now, what I'm playing, if you can see uh, on the screen, this is a project I'm working on. This is for somebody I'm working, a track I'm working on for somebody very special, you know. So, they don't know about it, so. Y'all, it's just a secret. I keep hearing someone say Ray Wanda. Where did that name come from? First, just to get it out there and understood, the pronunciation and spelling is Ray Wonder, but the spelling is R A Y W O N D E R, no spaces. And I say that because when people try to find me on iTunes or anywhere, they see Ray Space Wonder. And I have discovered over the years that that is actually a band that. Is definitely not me. So, <laughs> so got, how did you get your name? I got the name Ray Wonder because Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder were my idols growing up. So I loved listening to Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder growing up. I even uh, had a harmonica, and once upon a time I've been trying to play. You know. So do you? Oh well, you know what? Can you do a little something of uh, Ray Charles? Yeah, I can. I sure can. Can you let the people hear? Yeah, sure. Whenever you're ready. Georgia, Georgia, the whole day through. Just an old sweet song keeps Georgia on my mind. I said, Georgia, Georgia. Anyway, there you go. Oh, okay. So that's a little Ray Ray, Ray Charles. So what what you got for, for Stevie Wonder? Gotta keep him out there. Music is a world within itself where the language we all understand with an equal opportunity for all to sing, dance, and clap their hands. Hey! <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Ray Wanda, can you give us one of your original something you're working on? I sure can. I sure can. What is it called? The song is called No One Like You. Okay. This is going to be interesting. Let's go. Really? That was so hilarious. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue. Look at that face. How he be doing the faces, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Don't believe them on me Is that really what you think? You know you're all I want to need Nobody can put it down like me I'm from the city called Houston Well, you know we slow it down So if you don't mind I'm gonna take my time And tell you how much you mean to me You know you're like a queen to me yeah, love is blind and it's plain to see That you never find another guy like me So, Ray Wonder, I see that you're knowing how to do a lot of stuff on the laptop, music production. Do you have any experience with playing um, musical instruments? And if so, what kind? 
the main one for me is keyboard. I play by ear. And I personally say more of a fiddling around, but a lot of people want to say that I play keyboard. But I do play by ear. I play enough to keep up with somebody or, you know, produce. So if you hear it, are they playing? You could just jump in and just start playing with them. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. I love drums. I want to, you know, have a drum set eventually. I'm going to get that set up. That's going to be pretty nice. So I love drums. I remember being young and playing on drum sets at churches and stuff, just after services or before services. And like I said a while ago, you know, messing with the harmonica a little bit. And I love the guitar. I want to, I love guitar. I would love to be able to play guitar. So. Okay. Well, that sounds interesting. What would you tell anyone that um, give up or feel like because they are, they, something is taken away or they don't have certain things um, as far as vision, ear, uh, hearing, leg, what would you tell them? Just be, uh, I would say to them, they don't have to, they shouldn't, uh, they shouldn't be worried about what they are lacking because they have so much that they have right in front of their faces that they don't sit and take the time to realize it. So to always, you know, be appreciative of what you do have and you're still here alive and breathing, just like the other, the next person. Oh so yeah, I forgot to ask you, do you type? Yes. How many words a minute do you type? Look at that face, guys. Uh, about 30 minutes, 30, 30 oh, I, I gotta time myself, honestly. It's okay. been a while, but um, I've been ter told it's what, 60 words per minute or something like that, I don't know. It's, it's, been, it's just been a while since you timed yourself, really huh? Yeah, and I really, I'm gonna start doing that too. Okay, well. I, I thank you for allowing me, your mama, <laughs> interview you once again because it's been a long time since we did an interview. And um, for everybody that's out there that will see this interview, um, I've been open. I, I just want to say thank you, Mr. Ray Wanda. And do you have anything you would like to say? Any last words? Give me some money. Oh, yeah. Give <laughs> me <laughs> uh, <laughs> money. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are looking for voice production, audio production, or any such thing like that, please get in touch and let me know. And let us know. How can they reach you? You can reach me on Twitter at Ray Wonder. You can go, come through me through Mama Wanda. You can also. Who is Mama Wanda? They don't know who Mama Wanda is. Turn the camera facing yourself because you know you are. Okay, guys, I am AKA Mama Wonder, and that has been my name since we've been into the music business since 2003, like 2004. Mm, yeah. So that's something that I have done over the years is manage um, those that was interested in music and, how do you and dance and acting and modeling. Oh, so in okay. order to well, my spelling is M-O-M-M-A-W-O-N-D-E-R, like Mama Wanda, but it's all one word as well. So you can Google it and you can pull up some things, but it has been a while since I have done anything. Um, I kind of, my kids grew up, my youth artists grew up, and everybody kind of went their separate ways and to live life. We'll try to sneak them in, don't worry. So hopefully... <laughs> You will get to see um, sure, more <laughs> of this as well as my gardening. What do you like about me gardening? Is that something different to you or is you, you excited me. about it? You shocked me. What is she doing gardening? Okay, all right. So what yeah. are some things that you want me to garden to bring to you, grow in the garden for you? Mm. I got you some peppers. Okay, you got spinach. Uh, it's not time, but I can grow spinach. What are your favorite vegetables? Corn, cabbage, spinach, green beans. Uh, yeah, just potatoes. Yeah. So you like a lot of stuff, huh? Bless you! <laughs> <laughs> you gonna say it right with us! <laughs>
No COVID, no COVID. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I said I wasn't going to do any gardening, but Mother Nature did a little bit of five-second sprinkle. So I'm going to water my babies. You see my carrots? They're starting to fuzz. So, you know, I can't neglect them. So I'm going to go ahead on and get them some water. Even though it's supposed to rain tomorrow really, really good. This is Texas, so you just don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead on and do my part. Just in case. Because, uh, I need my babies to keep growing. <clears throat> and this is a little weird. And you know I'm not gonna let my corn go to waste. My babies need they water. I did drop me some more zucchini. Well, actually, a zucchini and a squash up in here because, again, I'm gonna be ripping them other ones out um, soon because I'm trying to get that area together and. Before I rip it out, I want to get these started over here pretty good. So, I got to make sure I keep up with this. Remember, I said if I don't, I don't garden, me if I don't water nothing else, it will be them. <laughs> my new stuff. My cucumbers and beans are doing really, really well. And I'm not doing the whole bed right now i just want to make sure that i put the water on my new babies because they need some type of chance see these beans they're doing really good guys they're growing fast doesn't take long and i have my um I actually see some peas starting to come up. So, trying to get over here. Might have to bring one more little thing of water. And I said I wasn't going to do any gardening today. But let's check on this squash. So far, is is that big. And then that leaf then closed up. So I'm hoping those bees then got in there and really pollinate. Uh, then I have some oak ready to pull off. Not many. Really look like one on this planet. But I have a lot of them coming in. I probably can afford to leave that variety on there a little longer. I have a tomato. This tomato plant is coming up. Um... I have an okra. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Now, unless I took it off and I don't remember doing that, something that ate my freaking okra, like, <laughs> took it off the thing. Now, I could have taken it off yesterday. I probably did. But I'm, I'm going to have to be careful now. That's the purpose of me having this gate. I have a, a couple of tomatoes here I'm going to go ahead and take off. Because it is going to rain. Uh, tomorrow pretty good so I don't want um I don't know how heavy the rain is gonna come down I really hope I get a good soak so other things can do what it needs to do I did do a fur I did fertilize them yesterday Look at this baby tomato. It's not even bigger than my pinky. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. And um, I might have to take Dominique some, some stuff tomorrow, maybe. I know I got to go back because I left some things there. Uh, 
I hope you guys uh, enjoyed enjoyed his uh, introduction. Um, it was a, one of those spontaneous things since I was spending a part of my day with him and not in the garden. So, yeah, that is my baby boy. And you will get a chance to meet my baby girl eventually. So I transplanted this tomato plant here. It looked like it's trying to get its red color. Hope I didn't destroy it. We'll see in days to come. And uh, yeah, so everything is looking good, guys. Uh, I am pleased. I still have to work in that red trough. And of course, that elephant in the room right here. But sooner or later, you will start seeing less and less pools uh, on this deck. And then I can move this. I might end up putting it on top of the deck. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. It's going to stay right there for right now in the way, in the middle of the door. <laughs> but, guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Share the video. And hit that bell button so you can always be notified when I upload something. So, yes, this is my off day in the garden. Have a great day.